You guys, finally, oh my gosh. It finally popped up on the radar. What was earlier, it wasn't, it looked like it wasn't happening. Look, it just started and it just started coming down heavy. It only shows it's gonna be going for like 45 minutes, but it just, just opened up quickly out of the sky. <laughs> February 12th, 2021. We're gonna go around, um, you know what? We're not gonna go that way, actually. We're gonna go through Fonskin as if we're leaving town that direction because we're not gonna hit traffic going that way. If we go into Fonskin and come around this way, then we're gonna hit traffic. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome, you guys. This is beautiful. So excited. Because seriously, all the stuff on the radar was moving south, like just south of us. And then last minute, as soon as I uploaded the other video, shifted a little bit more north, and then what we were originally supposed to get, we are getting. That's really cool. But anyway, sorry about this. We're at Walgreens, we're leaving right now. Look at that, look at how fast this happened. Holy moly. Holy moly. Yeah, this is very cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. it. Makes me so happy. It's coming down good, you guys. This is freaking great. You know what? Actually, I don't want to inundate you guys with like such long videos. I just love love making these. I just don't want to any day you guys but oh. alright well hang tight I'm going to turn it off for the light hang on oh come on okay I thought we would like miss this light I'm so excited I couldn't sleep well last night because I was looking forward to this and I think I'm going to be eating crow because I said it's gonna be like less than a half an inch. It still could be less than that. It could eventually be less than a half an inch, but. This is just beautiful though. Oh my gosh, guys. Seriously, like this big blob of moisture that earlier when you like hit the play button on the radar for the future, it shows it going south and by like quite a few miles. And then it shifted right away and I'm like, oh great. <laughs> it was, like the other video was like two minutes from being uploaded and I'm like, ah, oh, shia. And it, I look outside and it starts to snow. I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. But it didn't just like, like for like two minutes when I responded to a couple of the comments already, um, I was like, yeah, and now unfortunately it's starting to snow a little bit, but it's, it's not much and it's going to be over in like five minutes. And if not, I'm going to go back out. And then I looked at the radar again and then the blob got bigger and expanded. I'm like, oh my gosh. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it my story i'm sticking to it there's nothing you can do about it because i'm gonna stick to it look it's blowing it's blowing we're getting some blowing snow and that's how we go with the blowing snow <laughs> all right i just love doing these drives around the around the lake when the, when we have weather like this. I just love it. I don't, I don't I just feel so free. I feel like a bird. I'm just so free. I'm tired. I'm tired of being nobody. I just put on my glasses and it like it's it's making it look like even snowier. That's pretty weird. Didn't expect that.
see out of my window or out of the mirror. I, I change lanes, but I can't see. Oh, it's so nice out here. The temperature did drop down to freezing. When we were driving around earlier, it was like 34. Not that that matters. I mean, <laughs> if it was like 54, yeah, definitely. But you can get snow in the low 40s. I've, I've seen it up here a couple times, and when I lived in Denver, I'd, I'd see it often. Because you'd get like, literally just like feet above you, like a complete different temperature layer. Like, like it'll just be so, so drastic, just like, just like, like in a very small area and it, it would surprise you, but, um, and then it'll warm up like, uh, right, right at the ground, but a hundred feet up, it'll just be freaking bitter cold, but then right at the ground, it'll be really warm. And so, you know, that snow doesn't have time to like melt because that cold layer is so so close to the ground. It's pretty cool, it's pretty cool how it works. Oh man, this is beautiful. Okay, well, uh, there, I can see. I can see headlights. That's what I can see. From There's the village. There it is. Oh, this is such a teaser. This looks so beautiful out here. You know, this is, this is a good, good rate of snowfall. Wow, look at that blowing snow over here. I love it. Look at that. Shut up. And those, uh, those of you who have mentioned that like rattling noise, my keychain, I ended up uh, taking a bunch of the keys off of it. So hopefully it doesn't make that sound anymore. But that rattling sound you hear right here, that's that stupid thing. So we're gonna take this uh, this street over here. I th oh, sh sh yeah, we're gonna take Lakeview side street instead of taking Big Bear Boulevard up there and you on that way. We're just gonna take Lakeview. We're gonna follow guy. Right here. We're gonna follow guy. Let's give guy a follow. <sighs> so how you guys doing today? Oh, that's good. Glad to hear it. Oh, really? <laughs> That's terrific. Yeah, you don't want to be doing that. I'm talking to you guys, yeah. Ah, I know, I'm a weirdo. So, I know this guy's going to lag, so we're going to kind of cut through, even cut him off. Well, not cut him off, you know what I mean? Cut this road off a little bit and do this. to go up here and yield and then we're gonna go up here obviously I take the steepest damn road with this weather what an idiot you're a melon alright making fresh tracks <laughs> in the deep southern California snow Everybody's going skiing. Skiing USA. Wow. I like, I like, I like. So pretty. So pretty. See the 
this car for the uh, traffic. There really wasn't much traffic, but it's better than nothing. Now watch, we're gonna like catch up to it right here. Oh, we're good. Whoop. I should like delete the previous video. <clears throat> but seriously, I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it is what it is. That's just how the weather goes sometimes. I wish I could, I could, I would have screenshotted all the times that I looked at, at the app. So you guys could see, like it, it was, it was not looking good <laughs> at all. And so the time that I thought, or that it showed that that was it, I made it. I made it out, I caught it, I was excited. I, I got it for you guys, now I'm a little bit embarrassed. But it's all part of the game. So the reason why I didn't go the other way is because I thought we would be getting uh, more traffic coming in this way. People driving up. I hope my first video, oh man, I hope I didn't ruin a bunch of your days. You guys are like, oh, it, was, it didn't snow. I mean, th this amount of snow that we are getting right here is not going to make a difference in your ski trip. I, 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 I promise. But being here to see this beauty, just the little baby blanket that we have right now that's transformed everything white is so beautiful. Like, guys, it's so beautiful. I, I can't even express to you, it's so beautiful. If you guys were here with me, just in person, I'm telling you, it's so absolutely just awe-inspiring. I don't know why, I don't know why, but it just makes me feel so good inside. It gives me the warm fuzzies. <laughs> Oh, I feel so good. Yeah, I, I can almost get through anything I'm, with this type of weather, like emotionally. So, you know, it's just great. It's great. Here's Boulder Bay, guys. I love this part of town right here. something <laughs> but if your name's big bear oh no we're like we're like the i don't know that redheaded stepchild <laughs> or whatever they refer to uh yeah to mother nature we're like that face only a, a mother could love type thing and she's a little bit embarrassed to give us more snow But if we were mammoth, we would get more snow. It's going to be nice once we pass these couple cars up here. Well, not pass them, but turn into fawn skin because uh, we're not going to have to deal with any cars for a bit, I'm assuming. This is so pretty. I know it's it's not much, but 
it's still just really pretty. Yeah, look at this, you guys will be fine in terms of traffic. And then um, obviously, once again, and I'm not bragging in any way, like there's, it's to help you guys, but I actually, uh, I'm, I make it look a little bit easier, but this isn't rough. This is not rough. It's not rough. Now, if you have two wheel drive and it's just uh, an older vehicle that you're just not comfortable with, you know, yeah, do whatever you need to do. But I always suggest no matter what, you have chains with you guys. Because look, look what happened, okay? For instance, we I wasn't expecting this. The radar clearly showed for hours before that this wasn't gonna happen. It showed for the past couple days we're gonna get about four hours worth of very light snow. And then as of this morning at like three in the morning, it changed to like like one hour. And then I thought, okay, that's, that's probably like an error and then the next like two hours because in and out of falling asleep, I was checking on it and it kept on saying one hour. It was supposed to start about 7.30 and uh, but I, I was up earlier just in case and what do you know, it happened a, a, you know, a little bit earlier but it was just the little tiny bit and then all of a sudden out of nowhere. So that's, that's what can happen up here with the, uh, the or graphic lifting you can get you know pockets of, of of like heat that aren't aren't tracked that'll you know hit, hit the mountains and lift condense and then we'll get more snow so that's why they always say up here no matter what like have chains this time of year in your car no matter what because it's I you know yeah the technology is a lot better on tracking this stuff especially these days but um and especially like the day of however it happens it happens i'll never forget living in denver one time like we were supposed to get um we were supposed to get like uh i think maybe an inch of snow and it was overnight but then all of a sudden the wind shifted northeast and when you live in Denver and the winds shift to a northeasterly pattern, that's the, the exact pattern that you need to create a lot of snow in Denver because you get that orographic lift again. Um, that air just blows right against the mountains and it has nowhere to go. So it lifts, condenses, and just dumps right there in the front range. And so, but they didn't expect that and it, it switched last minute and literally like I woke up because I, I got sent to boarding school because I wasn't the best kid in the world. Um, two years of boarding school out there and then one year of rehab in Utah, crazy. But uh, um, uh, we were supposed to get like an inch of snow and I went to bed at like 11 or midnight because I was watching it snow and then it, it looked like it, like it let up a little bit and I went to bed, I was tired not expecting much woke up to go to school and as I walked upstairs because I live in the basement at my host parents house walked upstairs and there was like a foot and a half of snow outside you couldn't get out the front door the it just looked so beautiful like we just got smashed with snow it, it like just the warmest feeling ever you guys it was just so beautiful but like those are the things that can happen is all it takes is just a small little shift in winds, especially when you live in a mountain range, because that little shift creates, it's a huge difference in the orographic lift and how much more snow you will get. So um, yeah, that's, that's kind of what's happening right now. So I, that's why even those of you that asked me, I was like, look, I'll be honest, like, like I'd be fine. This isn't going to be an issue and uh, I don't think it would really be much of an issue for you guys however and I put this in basically all the comments too like however like I strongly suggest you have the tire chains with you just in case just in case you just never know but yeah we're on highway 38 right now you guys
but this is Highway 38 from uh, the Big Bear Dam. Most people are used to hearing Highway 38 over on the other side of town, um, heading out towards Onyx Summit and whatnot. These guys are taking the piss. There you go. Both of them. Just, hey, why not just ride on the main road? Why not, like, at least, like, hide behind those trees? But who am I to say anything? I've done that a million times. Heck, even in my drinking days, I've done it like in the middle of the street, not even on the side of the road. <laughs> what an idiot. I am so lucky I, I, I never got any DUIs or, or luckier that I didn't hurt anybody. Like, I didn't care about myself, but I, I, I was always so, so thankful that I never hurt anybody else. <sighs> Seriously. Those of you out there who have a drinking issue, I'm, I'm, I'm coming up on eight years. Like, I can't believe, I cannot believe it. June 23rd, 2013 is my, is, is my, is the last time I had any alcohol. And I had been struggling with that for years. In and out of so many rehabs, you guys. Oh my gosh. As an adult, so many rehabs. And sober living houses and all that stuff. And now I'm, I'm coming up on eight years. And those of you who are struggling out there, like, I want you to know that if I can do it, and I'm telling you, like, if you watch enough of my videos, you'll you'll hear my story and just like stuff that I've gone through. I promise you, like, you'll be like, <laughs> if that sick can do it, anybody can do it. Seriously, like, and I promise you guys, you guys can do it. And especially when it comes to alcohol and drug addiction and stuff, if you guys need any any help, any questions answered especially with the alcohol thing, you guys, please like, don't, don't ever hesitate. Don't feel ashamed. Your life is more important than to feel ashamed. And then something happened to you. Don't feel ashamed. I'm telling you like the most successful people in history had like some sort of a substance problem or at some point, something like that, just very addictive personality. And I'm not justifying it. I'm just trying to make it like, like it's, it's, you're not abnormal. I don't want you to think you're less than because you're certainly not. You're certainly not like, look, I, I have a few thousand people that watch this channel and, and I'm a recovering alcoholic drug addict. Like, like, yeah, I, I smoke herb. So I, I can't like, like, I don't feel right going to AA meetings and stuff. Even though nowadays I, I guess like, because cannabis is legal that they they have no problem with it or, or a lot of meetings don't have an issue with it and it blows my mind like even though it's legal like alcohol is legal but the people like you're not going to meetings like i don't know you're not going to na meetings drinking like it just doesn't make sense to me but they allow you to like go to aa and actually take chips at a lot of meetings now sobriety chips when you're still smoking weed. Like, I just do not get it. And look, I'm a smoker. Like, I'm a big time smoker, okay? Like, but I don't believe in putting other people in jeopardy. I, I don't care what it is. Like, if you bring any type of drug around someone who has a propensity to, to, to you know, use stuff or abuse things, um, I, I don't care what it is. Like, it's just gonna make them think about their drug. Or You, you have to be abstinent from from everything and I know a lot of people argue well what about all the coffee and like the fact that you can drink like a hundred Red Bulls every meeting <laughs> you know and and literally be tweaked out of your mind off of like caffeine and like uh, it, it's just such a it's it's just it's just so ass backwards um, just one addiction for the, for the other but um, you're, you're not learning anything doing that you're not learning how to you, you know overcome the addiction you're just, just going into another addiction every time i would be at meetings you guys and i don't drink much coffee i would drink like as soon as i'd start going back to like 90 meetings in 90 days and then like uh but i would literally go to like one meeting a day for all the years that i was in a every day i would go i had commitments and stuff but it's like the fact that like I became like a, a caffeine addict and just and and no one ever said anything it, it just didn't make any sense to me because I was seeking 
you know, a mind altering experience by overloading myself on caffeine, which is clearly what everyone else was doing too, but somehow that was okay. And, and I always found it, even though I, I never spoke up of, about it much because I didn't want to be that guy, but you know, the whole point is to, to try to face the addiction, but we're just feeding the addiction, um, big time. So, you know, that's why the success rate I think isn't that that great. However, the success rate in AA is based on a BS stat. I give AA way more credit. They say only 5% of, of people in AA actually, oh, and we're in fawn skin, by the way, but they say only 5% of people in AA actually stay sober. Only five. And why that stat is so skewed is because if they actually did like a real survey and did it on like did a survey on the people that actually work the program and have a really strong program, call their sponsor every day to do it, do what they need to do. Just, you know, reading the first 164 pages all the time. Um, if they did a survey on the people working a program, it's significantly higher. I would bet it's like 80 plus percent. I would bet you that for the, for the people that work a strong program, follow direction and do what they're told. I guess that's what follow direction is, but, um, you know, you need to show that vulnerability and, uh, and be willing to do what it takes and be of service. And, uh, yeah, you guys know what I'm saying? Anyway, enough about that. I'm sorry. And, and my mind got sidetracked cause I was checking something out on, on the side of the road. It didn't look good, but I didn't want to mention it. And then it was just a tire. So thank goodness. Thank goodness. I can mention a dead tire. I don't want to. I don't want to be sad this morning. I was sad earlier because we didn't get any snow. Really, I, I mean, yeah, we had a couple snowflakes coming down. Now, what is this guy lugging? He's got like the safes from the freaking Bellagio right there in the back. Oh, hey, it's Brad Pitt and George Clooney and the Australian guy. What's his name? I always. I don't. The guy's a, a, a great actor. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Yeah, Warren Fonskin. I know I've mentioned this before. <laughs> okay, I'm 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 a child, so but I'm gonna tell you what I'm thinking right now. So you know how there's like bed and breakfasts? Well, I just saw a sign on this little lake house that said lake and log. <laughs> so, you know, bed and breakfast, and then, you know, like lake and log, like it's, it's like a bed at the lake, and then there's a, a toilet so you can drop a log. I, I don't know. <sighs> God. Well, there go a thousand subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <coughs> oh, that is not a coke off. A coviard. Coviard. This guy is going very slow, but it's very safe for him to go slow like this. We don't want him going over the safety right here. And this thing is driving me freaking crazy, man. I keep on saying I'm gonna get the screwdriver and teach that thing a lesson. <laughs> Give it the old proper screwing over there. Oh god, that sounded bad. Give it <laughs> because I didn't screw it screw it in well enough. And uh, you know, I'm just digging a hole here, so I'll shut up if I can. No, I can't, so I just won't. But I'll try to behave. I'll try to behave. Mm hmm Yeah, so going out. It's gonna be cool though, because once we get up at the end of the neighborhood here, we'll be able to pass. And I'm sure he's gonna be a sweetheart when it's by. You 
can't even see the other side of the lake, guys. Look at that piece of ice just going right down the window. Oh. Goodbye. Sayonara. You'll be no more. <laughs> I treated that piece of ice pretty cold, didn't I? Oh, my jokes were really horrible this morning. Actually, I think they're pretty horrible all the time, but uh, at least I try, I guess. Or maybe it would be better if I didn't. I don't know. I don't know. But this is really just what I needed. Now I'm just going to shove something in there real quick. Yeah. Hopefully it shuts up a little bit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, nope. It didn't help. Almost did. Guys, it's coming down. It's coming down good, bro. Oh, see, I knew he'd be a sweetheart. What a nice guy. And I gave him the old, the old thank you signal with the blinkers and and the regular horn. If I give you the train horn, usually it's not the thank you signal. <laughs> usually that's the proverbial middle finger. The proverbial middle finger. Actually, I don't think that's the right word for what I was trying to say, but I'm sure you guys get it. Oh, 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 look at that. See, even I slipped, but I, I am, you know, oh, look at Snownado. There's a Snownado right there. Snownado. We just drove through the Snownado. We survived the snownado, so that's good. But yeah, we got a little bit loose back there. <laughs> oh, I'm embarrassed. You guys didn't see that. I did that on purpose. But I assure you guys, no matter sliding or, or not, even though that slide caught me a little by surprise, I was in immediate control. Because I put myself in a position where, like, uh, no, the worst case, I'll be safe. Trust me, you guys. Trust me. Now watch me, like, slide right into the wall here. I'm like, see, like, I did that on purpose. Because I'm trying to preserve these nice new snowflakes on the road. And, you know, I thought if I bashed my car up, it would, it would really be a nice thing for the snow. really get a chance I, I mean I do want to say come up here and enjoy this but the fact is is this is gonna be gone soon and you can see it's, it's getting a little bit lighter up here this, this, this is gonna be done by the time we get home they're pretty darn close but I'm very 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 excited about this are kind of so since it's slushy it's really slick right now it's really slick right now it, it, it's not like an icy slick it's actually worse I'm not joking you guys so around this turn right here we need to be super careful I can't believe I'm saying that oh sh uh oh dude no joke man this is crazy and oh my gosh oh my gosh this is nuts this is nuts. You guys, it's actually a little bit freaking on the, on the dangerous side, man. I mean, wow. This is not, this is not as easy as I thought. But when you have it slushy like this, guys, like, you know, I'm telling you, like, there's, there's like, like, this is that depth that's just sucks and, and when it gets a little, like like deeper that's when it's easier for me it is easier for all of us actually because it, it kind of holds you in place a little more when when it's deeper and so this is like as i said icy conditions but like like thick ice i don't know i don't know how to describe it you just have to feel it 
while you're driving. You just have to feel it. It's very not in control. <laughs> We just finished the tour around the lake once we're done at Stanfield. And then we're gonna get this uploaded. Gosh, you guys are gonna be so mad at me. Like, thanks for wasting our time. <laughs> Seriously. I am so sorry, you guys. But look, anytime the weather changes, that's what I do. So, and the reason why I'm apologizing is because I, I freaking care about you guys. But you guys know I do this channel it ultimately started for me to save these videos because I couldn't afford to pay for those thumb drive devices to save all the footage and so I posted them here and then uh, people actually like it and and I'm like that's that's so awesome and thank you guys thank you guys and that's why I, uh, I that's why I apologize to you guys I do care This is the Baldwin side over here. Ooh, that breeze is cold, cold, cold. 30 degree crosswind blowing right through the car. That was pretty cool. All right. All right, you guys. I guess we'll keep this on. tracks that have already been been made now if it's deeper snow I would say make your own tracks but in this type of stuff follow other people's tracks even though it's packing it down it's actually gonna make it easier for you because this this little tiny bit up here is like is like riding on top of a like like foam foam from a damn wave yeah this is crazy cool man this person just got almost hit by them and they're almost gonna get hit by me because they just pull out in front of traffic like like nothing everyone behind me everyone right behind me just changed the lanes too every single person I'm only going 30. I'm not even, like I'm going what's safe for me. The speed limit's 40, but I'm going what I feel comfortable driving in these conditions. I'm not gonna go any faster than that. And yes, my driving in these conditions is probably a little more comfortable than, than a lot of you, I'll tell you that. But um, I want you guys to know that I do value you guys, your guys' safety, everyone else's safety out here. Um, I enjoy doing this. And the fact that this can help at least one person stay safer maybe, then it's worth it for me to be out there on the road. Business open. Well, that's good. Glad to hear that. All right, guys. It's been real. It's been real. And I got my new internet. I bought the like OB system. I bought like for like 7,200 square feet, I bought the OB system and so it came with two satellites and they're like in my little 400 square foot house so so my internet is just warp speed now you guys because I, I already had the fastest that uh, chart or spectrum offers however it just sucked until I got like good good uh, equipment anyway you guys I love you guys a lot February 12 2021 930 on the dot in the morning and it's 30 degrees in Big Bear Lake California <laughs>